Guess who is trying to leverage the crisis in India? The home country of the Wuhan virus, China. Let's tell you what Beijing has been up to since India's second wave began. It called for a meeting of South Asian foreign ministers. The same one where China extended a last-minute invite to India. Delhi did not attend. China's intentions were clear. With India firefighting at home, China wanted to step into India's role as the chief vaccine supplier to the region. And it has been trying to do that, promising more doses to Afghanistan, to Bangladesh, to Nepal and to Sri Lanka. And that's not all. China has also sent aid to India. Something that India did not ask for, Chinese aid, oxygen concentrators, ventilators, medical supplies have all come from China via the Red Cross. And the motive is not lost on anyone. This is not aid. This is China trying to portray itself as the saviour after unleashing a pandemic on the world. Beijing may want the world to forget about its cover-up, but the past keeps catching up with them. And this time it has come in the form of a book. A book that reveals that what China has been doing with coronaviruses. The Chinese military was studying if these viruses, coronaviruses, can be used as a weapon in the future. And this was five years before the pandemic began. Chinese military scientists wrote a paper, a paper that predicted a third world war, a war where viruses will serve as a bioweapon. This report was published by The Australian. The journalist behind it has written a book on the origins of the pandemic and this report is a teaser for that book. It only talks about the paper written by Chinese military scientists. What does it say? It says scientists from the PLA and senior public health officials wrote a paper. The paper said SARS coronaviruses, and I'm quoting, SARS coronaviruses are heralding a new era of genetic weapons. Weapons that can be artificially manipulated into a virus and later weaponized and unleashed in a way, quote unquote, never seen before. Remember, this was written five years ago, Chinese military predicting how coronaviruses can be used as weapons. You could say these are mere observations in a scientific paper, but remember, this is the Chinese military we're talking about. For the United States, these revelations were deeply disturbing. They found this document while investigating the origins of the virus. Even lawmakers in the United Kingdom and Australia are concerned. The chairman of the British and Australian Foreign Affairs and Intelligence Committees have issued a statement. And they say the Chinese paper raises major concerns about Beijing's lack of transparency over the origins of the Wuhan virus. These claims have essentially revived all sorts of theories around the Wuhan lab. And the claim that the virus has leaked from a laboratory. Now, let me be very clear here. This paper itself makes no mention of COVID-19 or what we call the Wuhan virus. It talks about coronaviruses in general, the large family of viruses ranging from common cold to SARS. And the Wuhan virus is only a part of this family of viruses. So far, there is no clear evidence that conclusively proves that the Wuhan virus leaked from a lab accidentally or intentionally. But Dr. Tedros, the Director General of the World Health Organization, has not dismissed this lab theory. He wants more investigation into this angle. Even with his compromised credentials, he has not been able to dismiss the lab theory. So here's a question. Was China thinking about building a coronavirus weapon? Experts remain suspicious about Beijing's intentions. And this is the reason why. They are concerned about the high-risk nature of Chinese research into coronaviruses, especially the studies being conducted by scientists in Wuhan. The infamous Wuhan Institute of Virology was allegedly conducting what is called gain-of-function research. Now, what is that? What is gain-of-function? In this research, scientists create new viruses that could be more transmissible and lethal. In other words, they were creating new variants that spread and killed faster. Peter Jennings, the executive director of the Australian Strategic Policy Institute, has raised a red flag. He believes that under President Xi Jinping, there is a growing collaboration between civilian researchers and the military in China. A collaboration that could potentially lead to weaponization of biological research. 
the kind that the Wuhan lab was allegedly conducting. So what does China have to say about these latest revelations? Beijing has deployed the state mouthpiece, the Global Times, to respond. It called this report an attempt to twist facts. Well, what else do you expect them to say? China continues to deny reports, browbeat critics and whitewash evidence. But the lab theory is not going away. Every new claim, every new revelation only adds more fuel to the fire. It keeps bringing us back to the same question. What is China trying to hide about the origins of this pandemic? Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.